Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we're looking at the Doppler effect. Now the Doppler effect has certain things, certain terminology that we need to remember. If you look at this uh, equations, we will come to them later, maybe in this clip or actually maybe not in this clip, in the next clip on the Doppler effect. There are certain things that we need to know. We've got the frequency of the listener. We've got the frequency of the listener. Frequency. We've got a listener, then we've got frequency of the source, I'm not going to write it out, and we've got velocity of the listener, and we've got the velocity of the source. Now, the source will refer to what is making the sound. Making sound, right? And the listener will be the one who is listening to the sound. Now, just to see how sound waves work, if you look at this, uh, this example here, if we just begin with uh, looking at um, the Doppler effect, We see an example here where if the source has to make sound, so in this case we see there is sound that's created. Here's the source and it is giving off sound waves in concentric circles. The circles are spaced out evenly. Now if we take this case and we have to decide to move the source for example, then if we just change the source velocity to say 0.5, doesn't matter and we play it, we'll see a difference. We notice that as the source moves from left to right, we see that the waves are compressed on the right hand side and on the left hand side the waves are spread out. So this is important to note that when the source moves we see that the waves are compressed and uh, towards the side that it is moving and it is spread out on the side that is moving away. Right, going further now we see that here's another example depicting the same thing that when the source moves we see that uh, the waves in front of the source are compressed and the waves behind the source are spread out so here we see a, a beautiful example that as the sound source moves from left to right the waves in front of the source becomes compressed and the waves behind become rarefacted or spread out. <clears throat> now, taking this a little further, we have, uh, I've got uh, an example here where we see, we listen to the sound and see the difference, how, what do we hear when we have the phenomenon of the Doppler effect. So if we have to play this uh, clip, we'll see that the sound will change in terms of pitch as it moves towards you and it, as it moves to away from you. And looking at this example, we will see that that is exactly what's going to happen. So here's an example, as it's moving towards you, and as it moves away from you, we see the, the sound that we get. So we see the, 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 the change in pitch from the, when the sound comes towards you and as it moves, away from you and that is uh, called the Doppler effect and we've experienced it in our life every day. In this case the bicycle was the source, it made the sound and it came towards you at a high pitch and then as it moved away from you we saw that there was a so-called drag or decrease in pitch and that can be explained in, in terms of this diagram that when there was a higher pitch was when it was coming towards you and the lower pitch was when it moved away from you. Now in this case we have In this case, we have an example where the bicycle is moving towards the sound. The sound 
is by the stationary source, the source is stationary, and you, the listener, are moving towards the sound, and we see the same, exact same example taking place. So we hear the same sound whether you are, the source is moving towards you and away from you, or whether you are moving towards the source or away from the source. So that's an important thing to remember that whether the source moves towards the listener or the, the listener moves towards the source, we're going to get an increase in pitch. And whether you're moving away from the source or, the, the, or whether you are moving away from the source, whether you are moving away from the source or the source is moving away from you, there will be a decrease in the pitch. Here we have another example where we see the ambulance is moving towards a stationary listener. And if, as we look at it, we see that the waves in front are compressed. And if we just make a sound, So we see that as the source comes towards the listener, there's an increase in pitch and the frequency is greater. And as it moves away, there's a drag and there's a decrease in pitch and the frequency gets much less. Now, coming back to our, our equations, we see that if you want an increase in pitch, so if the frequency of the listener must be greater, then what we need to know is that if the frequency of the listener must be greater, then the numerator must be greater than a denominator. So we'll say V, which is the speed of sound. The stop part must be plus the V of the listener. And at the bottom must be V minus V of source, frequency of source. So this is very important, that if it is coming towards you, towards then it must be plus on top and minus at the bottom because the frequency must be greater and if it is moving away from you then we can say the frequency sorry that's just be the frequency of the listener must be smaller so then the top must be v minus vl all over v plus Vs Fs. So that's important. So just to write it nicely again for us, so I've written it again for us. If the sound is coming towards us, then we will say V plus Vl over V minus Vs Fs. And if the sound is moving away from us, then we'll say V minus VL on the V plus VS, FS. Because here it must be a greater sound. It must get a greater amount because the pitch is higher. And here it must be lower. So it is important to remember this when we are working out the Doppler effect. Thanks for listening.